Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, we're at the point right now where the kids in my neighborhood are heckling me <laughs> about, yeah, the kids. So what? About the weather. <laughs> when is spring going to return? Sunshine, warm temperatures, dry conditions. Well, unfortunately, the atmosphere sometimes you get traffic jams where weather patterns are stuck. So this is what we're stuck with for a while longer. But things will be on the improve, but it's going to take uh, several days. In the meantime, some of the rainfall totals from this evening, anywhere from about a half inch in Smithfield, third of an inch Providence, half inch Newport, just shy of an inch in New Bedford in some of the heavier downpours. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, the thrust of the steady rain now now lifting up to the north. Let me show you the wider view now lifting up towards uh, Worcester in the Boston area heading towards well, off the coastline and off the coast of Maine. We'll be left with uh, sprinkles and drizzle overnight tonight. The air is so rich in high humidity uh, that at least some precipitation in the form of drizzle will occur during the overnight. But we don't see anything off to our south approaching for tomorrow as far as real heavy rain, but it will be a damp gray and chilly day with occasional either light showers or drizzle. You can see the raindrops on the camera lens here in Providence. Temperatures only in the mid 40s, including 44 in Providence. So very uniform temps anywhere between 44 and 46 and will stay in this general temperature range uh, throughout the overnight tonight and enough of a wind to make that 44 feel like 37. So a bit of a wind chill this evening. You see that heavier rain now lifting away. Let me widen out the view and while it's fairly quiet off to our south, our next system is approaching from the Great Lakes, you can see this counterclockwise swirl right in here, area of low pressure. Now there's a storm system offshore. This system will move off to the south and east, sort of merge with the offshore storm and it kind of stall out over the next couple of days, promoting a raw east northeasterly wind that brings in cool temperatures. It takes in moisture off the Atlantic and it keeps things it keeps things cool and damp. Once again, you can see temps all across the northeast right now only in the 40s. So here's the breakdown as far as uh, over Night tonight through early tomorrow morning. Take a look at Futurecast. We'll get in real close here and just watch the uh, clock right up in here showing the heavier rain lifting away. We're left with low clouds, mist and drizzle tomorrow morning 45. While you don't see a lot of green indicating widespread heavy rain, I do anticipate at least occasional either light showers or drizzle. It's a raw chilly day, two o'clock in the afternoon, 47. That we do the math that is uh, 20 degrees below average. We should be almost 67 this time of year. Late day, early evening, we may start to see some slightly steadier rain work in, but as far as any sunshine and dry conditions, not seeing that for tomorrow. So during the morning, it's essentially drizzle, mist and fog, raw temperatures in the upper 40s to near 50 by 11 a.m. And then during the afternoon hours, just more of the same with that wind off the water, the wind picking up. It'll be windy and raw by six o'clock in the evening with a temperature of only 48 degrees. All right, seven day future cast. Unfortunately, more of the same for Friday weekend. It does warm up. The weekend's not a washout and still holding out a little bit of hope. Uh, just a spot shower on Saturday. Most of it's dry and we've been saying this all along that Mother's Day Sunday. It's not a perfect day, but we will start with sunshine. We'll get a quick shower during the afternoon and then some clearing though that won't take that will take place until uh, very late in the day. So it's not a great day, but it's not an all day sunrise to sunset uh, washout. So a little good news there. Temps over the weekend in the uh, mid 60s, but a a good two days of some cool, damp and raw weather before we warm things up a little bit over the weekend. It's like the trifecta of cool, <laughs> damp, raw. I mean, it doesn't get legit sunny and dry here till Monday and Tuesday of next week. Woof. All right. Thanks, Tony.